Magazine. Aliens. Ripley has gone into cryo sleep, but she expects to be picked up in about two weeks. So she's like, ah, hopefully this one will find me. Luckily, somebody does. Unluckily, it's like very a long time from when she set off. She's in the hospital. That guy from Mad About You, Paul Reiser, is like, hey girl. Ripley asks about her daughter, which we never knew about. Her daughter is dead because her daughter is like a kajillion years older than she is because her daughter was never in cryo sleep. Her license to work on a ship has been revoked. She's working like a shipyard doing like forklifty sh It's this f***ing rad ass forklift where like, it's like an enormous robot suit for you to like lift in like probably, I'm guessing, eight times what you can normally lift. It could even be more. But she's depressed because like lifting heavy things is fun. But it's not like flying. Paul Reiser is like, I know the way to get you there. Had another distress distress call from like this colony. And Ripley at first is like, I'm not going. It's like, I know you feel really bad about that pilot license being on. And finally she's like, I'll go. Only one condition. We're gonna destroy that thing. So she goes with these Marines. They're hardcore. The Marines are hardcore. One of them is Vasquez. She does a lot of pull-ups. And Bill Paxton is in it. And the colony is like real dead and they're like pretty much instantly getting wiped out this alien now is like out of control on the on the down low here this thing like skittering around and they're really worried and they sneak in to try and find it turns out it's a little girl who's like the only survivor of her name is new she's a little bit dirty but she's a ragamuffin she's real cute and sigourney in the wake of the recent loss of her 800 year old daughter it's like you know this is my daughter now i just want to keep this I'm an alien, right? Paul Reiser is trying to keep this alien alive to bring back to Ellen Utani to like become a, a weapon. Because ultimately, like these movies are about the hubris of man. I don't want to like extrapolate too far, but I don't think that I am. Again, pretty much everyone dies, but Ripley's left in charge of Newt and she's trying to escape from the queen. They discovered it's even worse than the first time and she's producing a kajillion more eggs. But she starts following Ripley. Ripley is like, I need to leave because she has set the whole colony for like self-destruct. So she's running, she's got Newt and they're going up an elevator, but like the elevator sucks. It's the best elevator scene of all time. And the elevator is not coming. We've all been there in New York. You don't want to do the walk up. It's seven flights. Who are you, Thor? She fights the alien with this like forklifty thing where she like steps into this yellow outfit where she suddenly is like a super construction worker and she's like D -d 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 and it's like the power of like a hundred construction workers even like union workers like she has health benefits in this outfit in classic Ripley faction wins she and Newt get onto the ship go into cryosleep again 